Airport Security, Pelston Regional Airport. So it's informed by TSA that there's a loaded firearm in the x-ray. This is the guy standing right there. I uh, haven't asked yet whose bag it is because I haven't taken it out of the Can tunnel. I just run it out to you because you're right. going to take possession yep. of number one. Is this your bag? Yes, sir, it is. This is the bag in question? Yep. All right, I need you to come around here. Sure. sure. You need to take that for me. Alright, sir, you are going to be detained at this moment. Do you need to put your hands behind your back for me real quick? You're being detained right now. Until we figure out what's going on with that, okay? I'm going to check the space on these. I'm going to double lock them so that they don't clamp down any tighter than they are. Obviously, you went through the metal detector. Is there anything on you that I need to be concerned about? No. Come with me. Yes, uh, if you want to bring that bag, uh, can you bring that or do you got to check it out? I've got to make some calls before I come. All right. I'm just going to come with me. We're going to go right around. Uh, no, we can go this way. We're probably going to set off an alarm. but. Somewhere. I got it. <laughs> Thank you. You are welcome. I'm going to go straight through this one. Sorry about that. Well, we'll talk about it here in just a second, okay? My office is right over there under that sheriff's sign. We're going to go have a seat in there and have a chat, okay? Alright, so you're being detained right now. Don't know exactly what we got going on. Obviously, I'd like to talk to you. However, you don't have to talk to me. Okay? Alright, so you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one be appointed to represent you at county expense before any questioning if you wish. If you give up your right to remain silent and later wish to stop answering questions, no further questions will be asked. Do you understand each of these rights to explain to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Obviously, there's concerns they have what appears to be obvious to be a loaded firearm inside your carry-on bag there. Uh, obviously, you can understand the severity of that, being of that uh, anybody that's ever traveled on an airplane knows that they cannot bring a loaded firearm through security. Uh, even if you do it in a check bag, you have to declare it, and it's got to be kept in unloaded, separate from the ammo in a separate lot case, and you would understand yes, that. Do you travel frequently? Yes, sir. So you're fully aware of all these yes, rules sir. and regulations. Yes, so what happened? You know what? I packed quickly in 30 minutes. Hadn't gone through the bag. Obviously, I have a CPL I conceal. Um, I have two pistols that I'll normally conceal. And I hadn't traveled with that bag over the weekend. I grabbed it from my house, threw my laptop in it, and ran. I just forgot it was in there. So it was all obviously right. a... Uh, you had your idea, yeah? Okay. I'm going to have you stand up. I'm just going to grab and take a look at that real quick. I'm going to grab your ID out of your pocket. This has never happened before? No, I'm go ahead and sit back down. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Glad you to share Sheriff's Department. I'm up at the airport in flight security. Yeah. I'm going to need you to pull me a complaint number. Is Lean up yet? Um, yeah. Okay. I ran somebody. Yeah, I ran somebody for, um, uh, Marini guy. Yeah. Uh, so I had a subject here that's brought a loaded firearm through security. Uh, can you run him for me? Yep, what's the name? Last name is Chatfield. C. Charles, H. Henry, A. Adam, T. Tom, F. Frank, I. Ida, E. Edward, L. Lincoln, D. David. First name is Lee, L. E. E. Robert, or Robertson, R. O. B. E. R. S. O. N. Uh, date of birth is 525 of 88. Can you also check to see if he has a valid CPL for me, please? Yeah. You know who he is, right? Is that our state representative? Yeah. Or child? Are, are you? That is who you are? Okay. All right, I thought the name sounded familiar, but no, I wasn't that sure. I thought maybe it was this kid. It seemed kind of young. Robertson. So you've been fairly successful at a young age? Yeah. I know. Not today. Well, yeah. mistakes happen, right? Uh, so. <laughs> Your current address is 2481 U.S. Highway 31? Yes, sir. I don't have it yet. Um, okay. Can you do just a uh, I can. register two and just add that into the notes and everything for me, and I'll, I'll let you get off the line. Okay, and then um, what, do you, what do you classify that as? Like, what's a... Uh, well, for now, let's call it a miscellaneous criminal. Okay. Okay. I will do that, and I right. will, uh, it'll be on the screen in a minute. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Okay. Bye. Is, uh, first off, thanks for what you're doing. Is that sure. what you being recorded? Yes, I am. I anytime I have contact with the public in a law enforcement capacity, I'm. I have my body camera on this policy. Uh, what is a good phone number for you, sir? Uh, two three one, eight eight one, zero two eight seven. It's my cell phone number. Sure. All right. So you claim this was purely accidental? No. Yes, sir. Nefarious motives on your end? No, sir. Well, what I'm going to tell you at this point, um, it's probably going to be good news for you, okay? Obviously, you're being detained at this period of time. Our prosecutor's stance on this is much different than a lot of prosecutor stances. Uh, some of the bigger airports, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Traverse City, you, you'd be going to jail. Like, no question, even if it's an accident, like, you'd be going to jail. Our prosecutor's viewpoint is this. Uh, he has a little bit of a different interpretation of what sterile or weapons-free areas are. That, um, a little different than other prosecutors. That's obviously their prerogative. They're elected. They get to choose that. In general, he is not prosecuted in cases similar to yours. Okay? I am going to contact my supervisor to get his thoughts and feelings on this just to confirm that that's what my suspicion is going to be. Whether or not you get to fly is entirely up to the airlines. Even TSA doesn't have the power to say somebody can fly or can't fly. Okay. That's going to be up to the airlines whether or not they're comfortable with you getting on the flight. That being said, I'm going to contact my supervisor and make sure he's okay with my thoughts and feelings so far on this um, and that he's okay with me doing that. All right? Hey, Sergeant. Yeah. Hey, it's glad you. Uh, I'm at the airport here. 
Um, I have a subject that went through security with a loaded firearm uh, in the x-ray. I know in general, our, uh, based on my interview with this person, I don't believe that there's any malicious intent involved in here. It seems like an accident. Uh, he is a valid CPR, CPL holder in Michigan. Um, I know in the past the prosecutor's stance on this has been that they do not prosecute in these cases. Is, there, is that what you're aware of? It was loaded. It was just a, a simple carry-on bag that had the loaded firearm in it. It was more of a briefcase. Uh, no, no, you couldn't miss it if you were blind. So there was no conceal, obviously an attempt to conceal it from... What's that? What's that? He is local. Okay. Let the airlines decide whether or not he can fly. Okay. Will do, boss. That was my plan. So I've had it where it's been artfully concealed and they still didn't prosecute. I had a guy who even admitted to attempting to hide the knife and they didn't prosecute. So that was kind of my thought on it. But uh, we will do that. I'll seize a firearm and let the airlines decide what they're going to do. I uh, already called Central. They confirmed it's valid. They're going to do uh, weapons or pistols registered to include that into the notes also. But uh, all right, I just want to make sure that uh, you were okay with that. So that was the plan. All righty, thanks, sir. Bye. All right. One second. So. All righty, is this it? Any obvious attempts to conceal the fact that it was in there? No, as soon as I said something, he said yes, that he forgot okay. that it was in there, and it's obviously not artfully concealed. Only the one? <laughs> yes. yes. All right. Anything else of concern in this bag that I need to look for? No. Okay. Um, I do have to look at the camera for that, though, and then can I take his boarding pass and ID and any time to make copies? Sure. I'm just going to secure the weapon. point I'm going to be seizing the firearm. I'll be submitting a report to the prosecutor's office. It's going to be then yours and the airline's calls whether or not you're comfortable with him getting on the flight. It might be too late. But They've already pulled your check bags because they said they're not going to wait. Okay. So, okay. They'll be bringing them both. Do you like this, sir? Uh, we can just set that on the chair if you want. Thanks. Door closed. I, uh, yeah, please. Just knock if you need to come back in for pictures. This is registered to you, correct? Yes, sir. I always feel naked when I go to airports because I can't have my gun on me. It drives me nuts. You know what? I just forgot, and even when you guys had come over, it still hadn't dawned on me. I mean, obviously. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious there wasn't, like, it was surrounded in a lead box. It was trying to hide it from the x-ray or something like that. So, I mean... You know, I, I still require, I was just and all these cases, that that, all these cases that I've had, uh, I've always been required to send the report to the prosecutor's office. So I'm not surprised that I'm, that my boss is uh, recommending that. That would have been done right. regardless. But I'm going to, you know, let you know that there has been a case almost identical to this a year or two ago, um, where a person brought it. It was like a derringer. And it was loaded. Had forgotten that he had it in their same case. They did not prosecute him. They authorized charges initially. They ultimately dropped the prosecution. I had one year or two ago where a guy actually was attempting to conceal a knife. Uh, he fully admitted that he was concealed. He put it inside a metal cup and had it wrapped in a bunch of stuff. And he was trying to hide it. It was sentimental. And he didn't want to check a bag. And he wanted to bring it home with him. Yeah. Stupid, but he attempted to conceal it. They still didn't authorize in that case either. That doesn't mean... 
that our prosecutor hasn't received updated information regarding case law in the case and has changed his stance on it. I'm just telling you where they've come down in the past sure. on it. Nope, just irresponsible. I was in a rush. Didn't go through my back. Well, you're not the first and you won't be the last. So when I woke up this morning, uh, this was not scheduled to happen. Uh, I did not have this one in my notes. So. Sure, sure, sure. Officer Kerr, what is your first name? Okay. Alright, I think we'll probably, I'll uh, get further information from you here in a second, but, uh... So, his background check was clear? Yeah, he's nil no. Uh, he does have a valid concealed pistol license. He, uh, is registered multiple firearms. I'm assuming this one's going to be registered to him. I don't... They do not have it in my notes yet, but my dispatch is checking it for me. He's a valid concealed pistol license holder. Do you have your CPL with you? Yes, sir. Okay. Where is that at? I probably in my phone. In one of those? Okay. Um, just got to double check with. Sure. Uh, make sure there's nothing else I need. I am obligated to tell you that regardless of what any county does, the federal government also has the it's federal property that you're on to prosecute you or find you. That's out of our prerogative. That's, uh, sure. that's their deal. So. Well, let's see on my own. Six and one. Nothing in the chamber, though. You get to shoot a lot. Not as much as I'd like. Yeah, I hear you. All right. So, do you want anything else included in your statement that I'm going to be sending to the prosecutor's office at all? Uh, we're going to hang out for just a minute or two to see if they need any further contact information from you. I will not need any further statements from you, but uh, let's just hang out for a minute in case they do. Um, you know, there could be some pretty severe fines and stuff from the from the feds on this. Um, and obviously they can choose to go criminal route too, but again, I don't believe that's happened that I'm aware of on the cases that I've dealt with. <clears throat> okay. Got to so, keep it small. Uh, yeah. I hear you. Summertime, I got a small one I'm always carrying too. Got to have a small, otherwise you can't stay heat. And like I explained to you, I'll just say it one more time. I'm going to be seizing the gun as evidence at this point. It's going to be logged into evidence at my station, uh, our primary station, which is down on 119 across from the Harbor Springs Airport, kind of there. Okay, you're familiar with that? That's where it's going to be kept as evidence up until the point where the prosecutor reviews the report and decides whether or not they're going to be issuing any criminal charges. Okay. If they don't issue criminal charges, you'll be contacted and be given uh, 30 or 60 days. Okay. Uh, different items at different, but it's 30 or 60 days 
to arrange for somebody, either yourself or somebody to pick it up. Obviously, in this case, since it's a uh, pistol, if it wasn't you that was picking it up, it had to be somebody with a valid concealed yeah. pistol license in order to do that. Okay. Um, you would want to call our office prior to that to make arrangements to make sure that somebody of a high enough authority is there to even get into the evidence room so okay. that you get access to it. That's obviously down the road a little bit, yeah, so... Hey, can I have Emmett desk, please? This is. All right. I'm sorry. Um, it's glad you. Uh, can I get a complaint number, please? For that last one? Yeah, the one I'm still on here, airport security. 30, 3269. 3269. Thank you very much. I do have a serial number. Uh, is it a 380? Taurus. Or a 22? Uh, Taurus 380. Uh, um, and is it a No. It is. Can you run that one? I bought this one about two years ago. He's claiming he bought it about two years ago. Did you register it? I, should, yeah, I believe so. Pistol. How many shots? Six plus one. So six in the magazine and one in the chamber. The model is PT738. I have it written other places too. Model PT seven eight. That's P where you find it on there. PT seven three eight. see a serial number anywhere else but that one spot. So. And what, um, which caliber did you say, Josh? 380. What I got. That's the only spot where the serial number is written down, too. Okay. I 
It says he bought it at Dunham's in Sault Ste. Marie a couple years ago. Um, I know some of the stuff has changed in recent years, but uh, I know a number of years ago it would have been, you know, if he never brought the paperwork to the Sheriff's Department, it wouldn't necessarily be registered in his name. However, it should come back to Dunham still. I would think. Um, says, unless they turned it, here, it says, unless they turned uh, in the sale. Okay. What I mean? Right. Right. No, I, uh, I'm not really thinking that's going to be the problem. Uh, yeah. It just simply might not be registered then. Yeah. This is the type of thing you just drop uh, the paperwork off the sheriff's office for 10 days. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is there a chance that didn't happen? You have two 380s and a 22. Okay, yeah, he says he has three pistols. He says he has three pistols, two of them are 380s, and one is a 22. Um, add that to it. Yep, just add that to it. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Bye-bye. That is the only thing I can wrap my head around that could have possibly happened is that after purchasing it, the paperwork either didn't get to the sheriff's office or maybe there's a mix-up with the state police that keeps track of that. I don't know. Um, the only potential issue, issue there um, is that it's unregistered. Uh, if it's unregistered, then it's possession of an unregistered firearm. Being a CPL holder, a uh, concealed pistol license holder, you're allowed to carry anybody else's weapon as long as you have their permission to do so. So even if it was registered to somebody else, that wouldn't be an issue. But the fact that it is not registered potentially could be a problem. Again, that's something that the prosecutor's office is going to make a decision on. I'm not going to do an on-view arrest and haul you off to jail or anything like that. Uh, nothing to do with the nature of your position. They wouldn't do that to anybody. Okay. Um, so we'll figure out, the prosecutor's going to sort it out, decide what, if any, criminal charges they want issued. These folks here with TSA and the feds will decide what, if any, prosecutors and they, dece they deem necessary. It's typically a fine. Sure. Um, and unless you have questions for me, or you have further questions, then I'm all set. Um, I just need a description and a serial number, and then... Serial number is... That's where some of the issue is at right now. Caliber 380 ACP. 380 would be the caliber. A small. It's a semi auto pistol. Six rounds in the mag, empty chamber. Complaint number is 18 3269. Tell you what, I'll write it right on my card for you. And then I need to go back more. Tom, oh, isn't it? No, maybe it's not. 2439 is my extension. Oh. That's my extension. Not that you would have known that based on looking at that. But. And it is unregistered at this point? As far as I can tell at this point, it's unregistered. I'm going to have to dig into it a little more. I'm not ready to make that determination at this point. But okay, then I will just put unknown at this point. Then. Unknown. Um, that sounds fair. That is going to go back to you. 
I'll give you that too. We can get you out of cuffs, and you're going to be on your way today, sir. All right, go ahead and stand up. Just going to close this so we don't have a bunch of cockers. Gather up your stuff, get your shoes on, and be on our way. Obviously, I'm going to be in contact if anything does happen on this. Prosecutor, for some reason, does authorize charges. I will call you personally, let you know that you have a warrant so that you have the opportunity to turn yourself in. Again, I'm not fully anticipating that, but I'm not the person that makes that decision either. So, Prosecutor Linderman. Assuming this truly is a mistake, you pick probably the right place to do it because, like I said, all those bigger, bigger airports. As far as what I'm led to understand is that uh, that you got a one-way ticket right to right to the jail. You know, probably would. Uh, it was just it was silly. Uh, haste it, makes way. Hey, I was like, in about ten minutes. And, uh, I'm not here to judge. I can fully understand somebody making a mistake like that, especially if they fly all the time. It probably part, becomes part of routine daily life, but. It, you know, yeah. it doesn't really change the facts and circumstances either. And no you excuse. understand that. No so. excuse. Yeah. Okay. You gonna have time to get a rental car to make your connection? I don't know. It's gonna be close. Yeah. I doubt it. I only live a mile away, so. All right. Is there any questions, comments, or concerns before you go? Uh, not at this time. All right. All right. I appreciate uh, what you do. Well, I appreciate Sorry it, man. Sorry you can come out this way if you want, so I'm going to go out there. It's up to you. Yep. You go out that door right there, it'll lead you right to the parking lot. All right, hey, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Do you see Officer Kerr still around? That you guys know of? Jenny? No. Right. Is Kerr still around? Jenny? Yeah. yeah. Upstairs? Back here, I believe. Hey, boss! So that's kind of been our prosecutor stance. I know you guys got your own kind of thing. It's frustrating for us too. But uh, remember that defense attorney that took the load of Derringer through a couple of years ago. They actually authorized charges on him initially, and then the prosecutor dropped it. He has some um, different interpretation. Make sure I'm recording. I don't think I am. 